Hey, what's going on, people? It's uh, Ted again, back with Tech Vitamins, and today we're going to be checking out uh, Google's new toy. Uh, Google partnered with uh, Asus to bring us this beautiful seven-inch tablet you see here, and this, of course, would be the Nexus Seven, with, brought to you by Asus, uh, and of course Google. Um, so, uh, as I already said here, it's a seven-inch tablet, um, real nice form factor. Uh, it's uh, 12 ounces in weight, not uh, not heavy at all. Uh, comes with uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, and NFC connectivity. Uh, so you can also get your uh, Android Beam and Google Wallet on if you want to. Um, 1.2 megapixel uh, front-facing camera for uh, you know Skype and Google Hangouts. Uh, none on the back. Uh, and then we've got our uh, 43 25 milliamp hour battery uh, which Google claims to give you about nine hours but I've only really gotten uh, seven to eight hours and that's with the uh, with the brightness all the way down no auto brightness here and then uh, most uh, the, the I guess you could say the biggest hardware uh, feature in here would uh, have to be the uh, Tegra 3 chipset uh, quad core um, and the device also does have a uh, gigabyte of RAM uh, so if we flip it on its side here you can see the uh, power button uh, along with your uh, standard volume rocker those are the only two buttons on the device uh, giving it a, a very nice smooth look if you will here you see uh, one of the microphones and then down here uh, on the bottom we have the uh, USB jack and the headphone jack now uh, looking looking at the uh, side of the device you can actually see that it does kind of uh, resemble uh, Google's other flagship uh, device uh, on the phone side the uh, Galaxy Nexus has this real nice uh, bevel I don't know how well you can see that focus camera. Will it focus? Oh, but it, you've got this real nice bezel, and then uh, another similarity with the uh, Galaxy Nexus phone. Uh, these look to be uh, uh, some sort of hardware dock connector. Uh, so I'd uh, be willing to bet some money here that Google is going to be uh, manufacturing some type of uh, dock for this uh, for this device. Uh, but um, you know, all in all. Just great, great hardware. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, field and build quality. Uh, I have I have uh, had this device for a few weeks now. Uh, I was able to uh, pick it up at uh, one of uh, one of the retail locations. Uh, I did get real lucky. Got it at a uh, Staples location, and uh, been playing with it. It just feels great in the hand. It's got this uh, kind of tactile uh, grippy surface on the back here kind of kind of like one of those mats that you put in your car and you can put your glasses or your phones on and it won't slip off but just really really nice to hold in your hands and uh, with that with that bevel like I said just makes it real nice to pick up it's not just like a, uh, a slab um, if you will but uh, no no contour to the uh, front uh, just a flat flat screen so didn't take any cues from the uh, Nexus S or the uh, Nexus uh, Galaxy Nexus uh, with the glass just just flat glass but like I said all in all it's just a just a, a great feeling device it, there's no cracks or, or not cracks obviously but no no crooks or squeaks or, or anything as you as you kind of you know uh, play, you know play with the device or anything like that just very very solid build uh, quality and like I said very light so it's uh, not bulky uh, my only uh, qualm if you will with the design is uh, let's see here let me get it all in full frame you can see that there is quite uh, a good size bevel uh, here on the well not bevel but um, a little bit of a border here on the side of the screen but uh, again, that does make it nice to hold in portrait mode. So I guess uh, you'll be you'll be there either with that or against that, depending upon how you hold it. And uh, so uh, moving on to our uh, you know software and uh, user interface. Um, if you've been following uh, the the Google operating systems, you'll you'll know that this does come with. Uh, Jelly Bean, which is uh, Google's latest operating system, 4.1.1, and with that, what they're trying to do is is relieve Android with all of its uh, lagginess. Um, if you're if you're a, an Android user, you might notice that you know on 
on uh, their first iteration of tablet uh, tablet UIs, which was uh, Honeycomb. That was uh, pretty much a joke to me. Then they came out, you know, then they had Ice Cream Sandwich, which did uh, get rid of those rough edges, if you will. But um, now here they have Jelly Bean, which uh, comes along with Project Butter, and that just smooths just smooths everything out. I've only got three home screens here, so I can't really swipe too much here. But um, you know, everything has just been just smoothed out when you when you launch an app. Just the animations are just gorgeous. Um, everything is just buttery smooth, as uh, as they've deemed it with that uh, nickname of Project Butter. Uh, another. Uh, another uh, UI feature uh, that's new to uh, to Jelly Bean is going to be the expanded notifications. Uh, so uh, I went ahead and just sent myself a, a little test uh, email. So as you can see, those notifications uh, are give you a little bit more uh, information. You can see some of the text, and then you can see my uh, signature. And if you want to get rid of that, there's two ways you can do it. You can either pinch uh, pinch and pull apart to bring it out or pinch and zoom to shrink it or you can still using two fingers you can pull down to expand it or you can uh, swipe back up with two fingers and then of course this from uh, ice cream sandwich you can go ahead and swipe to get it get rid of it and uh, that will the the context of that will change uh, whether it was you as you saw there it was an email so you could respond back directly from that if it's a text message you can also respond directly from the notification pane uh, as well as if it is a phone call you can also call uh, directly right back from there as well um, and then uh, finally here we're going to take a look at uh, what I would say is uh, Google's uh, attempt of, uh, uh, of uh, trying to come back at Apple with Siri uh, is Google Now. And uh, the way that you'll get to Google Now is you'll hold your home button or home virtual button where that would be. You swipe up to that Google. Uh, Google logo and then here uh, you in the Google now home page or Google now home screen I guess you could call it uh, everything is presented to you with this nice layout and then you've got cards and uh, what Google now is trying to do is just bring you everything that you could possibly want at an instant uh, at your fingertips so uh, here I've got weather I haven't played with it too much on the tablet but if uh, you know if I did a, a local search on my computer for something like a restaurant if I were to pull up Google now it would show me like directions and traffic to that um, so so yeah uh, just a, a quick review of uh, Google's Nexus 7 uh, been loving it uh, so far and uh, definitely if you are in the market uh, for a, uh, a 7 inch tablet I would definitely definitely uh, you, you know you definitely owe it to yourself to uh, take a look at this one uh, I've been uh, been nothing but happy since I've been playing with it and I'm sure that won't uh, won't do anything but get better over time uh, so thanks again for watching guys uh, again this is Ted with uh, Tech Vitamins and this has been the review of the Nexus 7 take care